Well, yeah, businesses say under normal circumstances, the game happening here Saturday would be a boost for businesses all weekend long. However, the health department says statewide restrictions on indoor dining exist right now to save lives. They add that most places are following the governor's guidelines, but they have found a few choosing to break the rules. Despite indoor dining and drinking being prohibited right now, Stimpy's Sports Bar and Grill in Kent is welcoming customers. We all live for Seahawks season. Owner Steven Seiler expects a busy weekend, but the governor has ordered gatherings like this to not happen because of the high number of coronavirus cases. Well, they really want me to shut down. The health department is adamant about shutting me down. Liquor board. The same. The state has issued warnings and violation notices. That you're going to keep getting these fines. Why is it worth it to stay open? Because the alternative is to lose it. I've got everything. My whole life is wrapped up here. What do you think about that? Well, I think everybody should play uh, the way that the governor says we should uh, should play with uh, along the rules. In Seattle, Bill Weiss, general manager of the Silver Cloud Stadium Hotel, says they temporarily closed the restaurant. Jimmy's on first, and Mike Morris has temporarily closed his place. Fuel Sports Eats and Beats in Pioneer Square. You know, everybody has different economic pressure, but. It, it seems like a very selfish thing because what if we were all to defy the rules and everybody was to open, um, then COVID would be even worse. No doubt about it, the lack of business has been devastating, especially now. Typically with a playoff game, you'll have a two or three or four nights stay with guests in the hotel, but also they'll be spending money in the restaurants and the shops. So it's millions of dollars plus the economic impact to the city with missed uh, sales tax and also occupancy tax. It's gigantic. I mean, the Seahawks are the backbone of Pioneer Square. And he says if it weren't for COVID, this weekend would have been a big win for bars and restaurants. Now, outdoor dining is allowed with some restrictions, but as I mentioned, Stimpy's has decided to offer indoor dining and public health did issue a statement about that this afternoon that says in part that the business chooses to violate the ordered closure and continues to operate without a valid permit. Public health says that that violates the law and the agency is currently evaluating its next steps. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.